Welcome, um, Aquarians, and happy birthday to you, Aquarians. Remember to go check out the Aquarians reading and see what is coming up. So, 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 Aquarians, let's go in and um, see what you have to deal with um, in uh, this uh, timelines, Aquarian. We're going to be checking out what you Aqu Aquarians have to deal with. So, people who were born on the thirty, uh, the twenty fifth until um the 25th until what is this mark is it all about the 25th until um uh the 31st congratulations happy birthday let's go in and see your reading remember that all these experience that is here is going to be affecting you guys so be aware of that um, this is your solar new year for the 2021. Um, so remember that. Remember to, um, write 10 things that you want to achieve by your next solar birthday. So we begin from the 25th until the 31st of January. I want to say to each and every person, thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful like, share, and support. Let's go in your reading. The center this year is about healing, leaving things behind, and making new decisions in your life. So remember this um, and try and work on these things. So what we see is that there is some sort of a situation that some of you were dealing with with a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person. And I see um, this is uh, something from a past life. I see this person has been offered something, but they don't want it. And I see that a fire sign person, some of you could be sisters, brothers, and relatives that you're dealing with. No new start for these two people. Um, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, and an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. No stu new start for these people. They've recognized and realized what these two people have done. I see light has been shed on a whole lot of money, and people are recognizing that a whole lot of money was either taken or stolen. This money will be returned. You're going to be recognizing this, that a whole lot of money was stolen by these two people, a ta young Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, and a young... um. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. So for the people who were born um, um, between 25, 26, and 27, that is the energy that you're going to be dealing with. So be aware of that. And some of you could be feeling this energy. It could be family or friends. One is a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. The other one is an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. New, new start is going to be coming up for these people because of some sort of a injustice that they have created and took a lot of money on the false pretend I see truths is coming out. Um, then when we look, we see um, a Pisces, Cancer, a Scorpion. For some of you, this is your um, a mother. Uh, for some of you, um, and some sort of information is going to be coming out. I see the energy of the Eight of Wands, a whole lot of information. Um, seven of cups is like multiple opportunities is going to be opening up. So some of you, maybe your mom has passed away, but is still working with you and, um, is shedding light on some sort of a deceptive lies and secret as was created. Seven of cups is here. Multiple opportunities going to be coming in for a lot of you. The energy of the moon is here. Some sort of a secrecy with a cancer woman, um, or some sort of a secrecy of a, Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion, okay? Um, so I see a lot of you, some sort of a new start because people have recognized the lies and deceptiveness that people were creating around this person, okay? So secrets is just going to be coming out and people are going to be recognizing as like some sort of a secret comes out about a Gemini or a Gemini is going to be recognizing um, that and is going to be telling the truth about a person and is going to be getting a new start for themselves because they recognize that some sort of a fall play had affected some of you Aquarians. All right. We're going in the reading. So Aquarians, we're looking at the people who were born on the 25th. What is happening in transpiring? Um, if you have sister, siblings, brothers and sister, whatever is transpiring, I see no new start is coming up for two people. Um, and I've said it, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Maybe they were your friends. And the problem is that people have recognized uh, 
that there was a growth, a huge theft that was created, and these two are um, connected with it. So if you notice, you people, on the 25th, you're going to be getting a new start. You're going to be getting out of the situation. But these two people are not going to receive a new start because people are now recognizing what these two people have done. And these two people together have stolen a lot of money, and people are going to be seeing it. And I see some sort of a investigation is going to be taking place. So... So, um, um, new start is coming up for the people who were born on the 25th of, uh, yes, you're going to be very lucky. This is a lucky year for you. So whoever is born on the 25th of January, a new start, luck is on your side and whatever that was happening and transpiring, you are going to be very lucky overcoming some sort of a deceptive play of these two people, what they have created. Then we are moving forward and we're looking at the people who are born on the 26th, another lucky, lucky energy. What is happening and transpiring is that a whole lot of you are going to be very, very lucky, overcoming some sort of an un, um, unexplained issue with a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person. And I see that you are going to be regretting, regretting, but yet still something is going to be coming. Um, whoever this person is for you guys, uh, um, something in the past, you regret some sort of a past karmatic situation with this person. I see they're going to be returning something that this person has stolen. They recognize that this person was very deceptive. This person is a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn between the age of 18 and 45. They recognize the deceptive play of this person. They're going to be returning what was stolen from you. There was a whole lot of money that is involved and it's money that is coming from your work or your business. They recognize that this person yeah. had intercept and took a lot of money that was coming from your work and your business. And I see that they found out what these people have done. So it could be inheritance. However, it is happening. It could be inheritance um, that was happening and transpiring. Some sort of inheritance and this person had took money from you um, without you even knowing. It could be friends. It could be a partner. But I see this money is going to be returning. A lot of business and money was taken from you and it is going to be returning. So I see people are recognizing some sort of a dishonest play. Um, that has transpired and some of you is with your work, with your business and they're going to be recognizing how um, deceptive a, a play has transpired and it's going to be recognizing that people were trying to dilute some of you of a whole lot of what is so expect this in this year. So you guys are going to be lucky because your fortune is going to be returning a whole lot of money um, that you were supposed to get. Some sort of a big payout is going to come in. It can come in as an air finish and um yeah, air fitness and that sort of a thing. Now, let's look at the people who were born on the 27th. On the 27th, you are going to be working with a hermit. This is going to be a very, very intuitive air for you guys. Um, your spirit guides are going to be coming in, watching over you and praying and helping you to create a lot of wealth in your life. Whatever money that was taken from uh, that an Aries Leo or Sagittarius has taken, an Aries Leo or Sagittarius, a young person, remember this, ladies and gentlemen, between the age of 18 and 45, light is now being shed and people are now recognizing the lies and deceptiveness of this person. And you're going to be receiving some luck, um, receiving this money is going to be returned to you. So if you notice people between the age of 25 and 27, it's as if money that was stolen in the past on um, or money what that was not given to you is going to be returning because now people are recognizing a huge theft that was created. Light is going to be shedding on some sort of a situation that was transpiring. It's not over, but a resolution is at end. And it's a, this year is going to be a year of re revolution. Some of you are going to be looking at some sort of emotional hang-ups and try to heal these emotional situation in order to move forward. And this is good. They're going to be um, re um, realizing that there was some sort of a false play. Um, they recognize that some sort of a um, false play where some of you could find out that a cancer was not being honest. Uh, um, they're recognizing that there was some sort of a um, false play that was transpiring in another city or another place. Um, and now they're, um, you know, they're really investigating and looking at what was 
what happened and what played. And they're now investigating and seeing this and recognizing what was transpiring. Then we're moving on and we're looking at the people who were born under 28. It's going to be a wonderful year of healing in a healing. If you're a psychic, your psychic energies is going to be high. If you're a medium, it's going to be a good year for you. Some of you are going to decide to focus on um, working on the spiritual side, your divine purpose. You're turning your back off on people, things and situation no longer affect you. Um, the energy of number eight is going to be good because it's about turning your back uh, on issues and problems that no longer affect you. They are now recognizing, um, some of you could be, um, getting a job in another city or another state. You're going to be offered a job in another city or another state. And this is going to be good. Then I see some sort of a healing between you and a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion. I see some information is coming to you from this person or you're going to be hearing and receiving a lot of information that you were not aware of um, about this person is going to be coming out and people are going to be, um, you know, giving you some sort of a help support and uh, support you in a very positive way. A lot of you recognize that some sort of an emotional situation you need to let go. And I see help is going to be coming in and people are going to be really helping you and balancing out whatever that was transpiring. Two and eight is ten. So a lot of you are going to be receiving some sort of a new start that is going to be coming up. A lot of you are going to be receiving some sort of a fast new start. Some of you have to make some real um quick decision in this year so be aware of this because i see a lot of you are have to make a lot of um fast decision decision that you need to make very quickly and whatever the decision is it's going to be good so not to worry so wonderful wonderful situation then we're moving further and we're looking at the people who were born on the 29th of january this is going to be um, a year of a lot of secrecy that could be coming out. Secrecy about the scorpion woman is going to be coming out. If your mom or you're dealing with a scorpion woman, whoever the scorpion woman in your life, some sort of a secrecy about the scorpion woman is going to be coming out. Now, as we recognize uh, um, secrecy about a, a Pisces or a scorpion woman, um, some sort of an end to some sort of a deceptiveness, the Six of Swords, uh, they're going to be re recognizing some sort of a deceptiveness that was created. Um, the Eight of Cups, you're going to be, um, you know, turning your back and walking away from the situation, but I see it's coming to an end. Um, and what is going to be transpiring is that you're going to be excelling in this year and excelling in a very, very good way because I see a new start is coming up and a new start is going to be offered to you because there, it's as if people recognize that some of you were unfairly treated in some sort of a way. And I see a new start is going to be coming up. I think that this card deck is one of the most beautiful. So if I'm speaking too fast, it's because uh, I'm connecting with the deck and the um, a channel. So um, the information is coming in very fast. So, so I see the energy of the moon, a lot of secrecy. A lot of you are dealing with people, uh, a Pisces and a Scorpion. A lot of information is going to be coming out. Some sort of a secrecy that these people had. Um, and some sort of information is going to be coming out. An end is here. No, it's not really an end. An end is here for some sort of a false eye that was play. But what we see and what we recognize is that some of you have to make some fast decision in this year and it's going to be good so the seven of cups a lot of opportunities is going to be coming to you um if you have a business this is going to be a good year um for business for a lot of you um if your boss was a scorpion they're going to be recognizing and finding out a lot of things about this lady and recognizing what this lady have done to you and a whole lot of information is going to be coming out but with the information that is coming out about this lady, I see a new start is going to be coming up for you and you're going to be um, stimulated and help is going to be coming in for you. So this is going to be good. Then when we look at the people who are born on the 30th of January, a lot of you have to make some sort of a fast decision 
for a mother figure or for a woman 50 years and older that is a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion, some sort of a new start. Um, you have to decide for this person and make a new start. It's as if uh, this person depends on you. So a mother figure, a lot of you are going to be having some sort of a situation with a mother and a mother figure, and you're going to be, um, have to make some sort of a fast decision. Okay. And I see they're going to be recognizing something that is going to be coming out or something that a Pisces cancer or scorpion woman is going to be telling you, um, that you're going to be recognizing that a whole lot of lies and deceptiveness was there and a whole lot of secrets and it's going to be coming out and people are going to be finding out, um, this person, whoever this person is, uh, and most of it is your mom. If your mom is a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion, or your mom, some sort of an information, they're going to be, um, telling you something about some sort of an information about your mom. Okay. Then we see, um, some new start is going to be coming in. Um, if you, you guys were waiting on business opportunity, work opportunity, Anything that you were waiting on, information, documentation, it's going to be coming in and it is going to be coming in good. I told you guys some sort of a secret that was held is going to be coming out and you're going to be receiving some sort of a new start. So a lot of you are going to be recognizing that people could have held some sort of a secret or some sort of a document um, and secret that was old in a corporation institution. It's all coming out now. They're all recognizing what had happened, what had transpired and truth is really coming in and people are recognizing what was happening and transpiring. So if you notice an end is going to be coming into some sort of a secrecy in a government corporation institution or some sort of a, um, you know, a civil, uh, over, yeah, government or, you know, override, um, um, government, um, information and secrecy is going to be coming out. That is going to be helping a lot of you. Then when we look at the people who were born on the 21st, uh, the 31st, we have the energy of the high princess. Some sort of information comes out from a government institution and, uh, um, uh, emotional, but good. Um, they recognize a whole lot of lies and deceptiveness that was created and they're coming down on this lies and deceptiveness. So they're going to be finding out that government workers have created some sort of a false, uh, civil servant workers created some sort of a false uh, situation. And I see that, um, because of what they have done, you're going to be getting some sort of a long-term stability because they're going to be recognized that civil servants in a government institute to corporation have created a whole lot of a um, false height, okay? Very, very false situation, what they have created in a government organization. And it has something to do with some of you. Maybe you are a civil servant that has recognized that there was not honesty that was going on in a government institution. You are taking this down and I recognize that you are going to be very happy that you found out and took this secrecy down and show up and let people know what it was that was going on in a government institute organization and how um, certain rules and regulation was broken. And as you guys notice, uh, um, whatever the problem is and was, uh, you because now they investigate a situation and find out some sort of a secrecy um, that was going on. And now you stood your ground. And as you stood your ground, this is going to be bringing a long-term stability back. And it's going to be offering you um, a real long time, long-term stability because you recognize uh, um, what was going on and how people had held some sort of a secrecy in a corporation institution and uh, was keeping documentation, hold, held some sort of a documentation secrets and did not, um, you know, it's as if some sort of a information came in, um, and from somewhere from another city is it's as if some of you move from one city to another, the information was sent to the city hall. The city hall did not 
um, you know, work the information by and they're recognizing this. And because they're recognizing this, uh, they are now balancing the situation out because they went and found out that someone kept the information and did not, um, and did not put it in the system. And now they're recognizing that it's true. And that is going to give you some sort of a long term stability because you showed up people because it's as if some sort of information was supposed to go to some sort of a, uh, it can be taxes too, that some of you, um, found out that someone was lying about their taxes and you, um, correct the situation. It could be so many different things. You can have a bank and a financial institution that the money, someone else was taking your money and they're recognizing this now and taking this down and recognizing the false play that was happening and transpiring. And they're now recognizing that a corporation had kept a whole lot of secrets. And I see you are going to be having long-term stability. So they're going to be ending some sort of a secrecy in a government institute or organization about documentation, data, information. It can bank, it can a mortgage place. They're going to be recognizing the lies and deceptiveness and what people have done and how people had falsify and create uh, like um, multiple situation. And they're going to be recognizing this and ending this and bringing that balance to a situation. Okay. And this is going to be good. So I see a whole lot of you are going to be having luck. Some of you could be offered a work in long distance. So um, offered work long distance, whatever that was transpiring. There was some sort of a false, uh, corrupt person in a government institute or organization. They're going to be taking down this corrupt person in this government institute or organization. They've recognized a bank financial institution could be returning a whole lot of money, um, to you guys because they recognize that someone has falsely took money that was not yours. Okay. Um, then we are, they're ending a situation and bring in this uh, fox. This fox is a, a false person. They're bringing this fox, a false person, um, to an end because they've recognized what this person have done. So this is a wonderful, wonderful year. Let's see, um, the numbers for you guys. If these numbers are not your lucky numbers, do not use them. Okay. For the people who were born on the 25th, you have, uh, um, a new cycle and you have luck. You have no numbers. You have a new cycle that is going to be breaking and a whole lot of luck in this year. So that is good. Then when we look at the people who were born on the, um, 26, you have the wheel of fortune, which is 10. Uh, it's going to be a very fortunate year. You're going to be overcoming some sort of a situation, um, that has transpired. People are going to be recognizing the fate, the play. So you have eight and nine and it's a lot of money. A lot of you, if you were born on the 26th of January, start your own business because you are going to be, um, financial stable by starting your own business. So for the people who were born on the 27th of January, um, I see, um, you have the energy of nine. Some sort of uh, emotional situation is going to um, you're going to be recognizing some sort of emotional situation you have been carrying for years and you, it's not going to be over because uh, you're not being true to yourself. Okay. So you need to be true to yourself, whoever that was born on the 27th. And then when you're true to yourself, you're going to be recognizing that someone in your life is not really honest uh, and you're going to be bringing this to an end. Um, you're, you have five and six, five, six, and nine, five, six, and nine, 14, which is five also. Okay. Then as we move on and we look at the people who are born on the 28, a lot of you are going to be receiving a lot of money. Infinity abundancy is coming up. If you see how much eights are here. Um, so people who are born on the 20, 20, Eight, you have eight and you have two and you have 10. Now, eight and two is 10. So you have twice 10. So a lot of new start changes and a lot of new start. You're walking away from things that no longer serving you 
opening up new door to changes and new starts. So that is going to be good. Then we look at the energy of the moon. And the energy of the moon has to do with uh, number 18. Number 18 is 9. And I see some sort of an end is going to be coming in for a scorpion woman in a corporation institution. They have recognized that a scorpion woman in a, um, that has their, a company or work with you as a supervisor or was your manager. Um, this woman had a lot of secrets and they're going to be recognizing it and they're going to be bringing this to an end. And what I see also is that, uh, um, and, and nine, an end is coming in to a woman. A scorpion woman in a corporation. So you have a, a 18, 9, and 7. 18, 9, and 7. Then when we look at the people who were born on the 30th of January, I see a new start, a brand new start, a brand new start in number 8. And again, 8. So this is a powerful, powerful year for you guys. A brand new start, the Ace of Wands, new start, new business, um, new situation. Some of you could become a mother. So be aware. And if you're, you get pregnant, some of you could be twins or triplet. So be aware of that. A lot of you could become a mother. Um, a whole lot of secret documents and a whole lot of secret uh, information, documents and information that was in a, that people were held in as secrets is going to be coming out now because people are recognizing what was happening. Then we're moving on and we're looking at the eye princess. What is the energy of the eye princess? Um, I have to go back to the people who are born on the 30th. Um, you're going to be also financial stable. Your materialistic wealth is going to be ill. A lot of business and work could be coming in. If you're thinking of starting your own business, it's a yes, go ahead. Then we're looking at the last and final on the 31st of January. What we see is that we see um, secrecy, the eye princess, number two, number 10, um, number two, number 10, a whole lot of secrecy, um, eight again. So uh, you, you guys are lucky in this year. This is what I said. And uh, Aquarians, go back and listen to your year reading. It is good to listen to your year reading at least once per month, okay? Because sometimes I, when, you know, I channel, I don't read cards, I channel. Sometimes information comes up in the year reading that you need um, to find out in a month. And this is your year reading. And this is why I say to a lot of people, um, you know, uh, uh, you know, buy a year reading for your birthday. To keep eight or five dollars per year by a year reading because what you do when you buy these year reading is that it is programmed to you personal and each and every month you know what is coming up and you know how to and you know what's coming up in your 12 houses. So, um, that is good. So you guys have two, ten, and eight, two, ten, and eight. So whatever secrets that was kept or kept against you guys, it is going to be coming out, but it is going to bring you a lot of luck. I do love you guys. Please like and share these videos. And um, please, I know a lot of people are missing your home personal reading or your home birthday readings. But ladies and gentlemen, it takes a lot of time to do this. Good for you to have everything. You can just skip, look at the stamp. Um, um, we're repairing how the stamp is, so it's easy for you guys to just um, click on the stamp and get and see whoever is coming up in your reading. Please share, share, share these readings um, and show your loves by thumbs up. I love you guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful year. Namaste. Thank you.